about his school. It's a nicer place to be. The buildings are great. The atmosphere is different. He changed the fabric of the Lincoln University family. He's brought tons of funding. He's seen areas where we, where most presidents would look at and there are a lot of issues that are not going. He works diligently to get at it. Dr. Nelson has been the, uh, the catalyst for that movement. All the new buildings and things that we have, from what I know, is due to him and all the income that he's brought Lincoln. Dr. Ivory V. Nelson, a man of vision, a man of purpose, a man committed to excellence in education. Today, Dr. Nelson is the president of Lincoln University, located in Lincoln University, Pennsylvania, where he is on a mission to make Lincoln the first choice of African Americans in the Delaware Valley. Well, I've uh, been in Lincoln for two years. Since I've been here, I've been extremely impressed with the, the work and the progress that I see on the campus under his direction. Um, tremendous amount of construction uh, going on, uh, increase in student body, increase in programs, and I think all of these are projects that are going to assure that Lincoln continues to be in the forefront of higher education. Dr. Ivory Nelson has been called a great leader of higher education, and his journey proves it. The son of a Methodist minister, Dr. Nelson was born in Curtis, Louisiana. In 1951, he graduated from Booker T. Washington High School in Shreveport, Louisiana at the age of 16 and went on to serve in the United States Air Force. In 1955, Dr. Nelson entered Grambling State University where he graduated magna cum laude with a bachelor's degree in secondary education chemistry. From there, he enrolled in the University of Kansas where he graduated with a Doctor of Philosophy degree in analytical chemistry. I met Dr. Nelson back in 2001 actually when my sister attended Lincoln University and he had set, I believe it was a five to six year plan, the construction being done and the buildings going up and just the little things along the way that he has said he was going to do and now they're being accomplished. Dr. Nelson's career in higher education includes teaching graduate and undergraduate chemistry and serving as department head, assistant dean of academic affairs, and vice president of research. He was the acting president of Prairie View A&M University, the executive assistant to the chancellor at Texas A&M University, and chancellor of Alamo Community College in San Antonio, Texas. Dr. Nelson's numerous achievements include he is the key holder of a Phi Beta Kappa key from the University of Kansas, receiving the Fulbright Lectureship, being recognized as one of the world's top scientists in the book Distinguished African American Scientists of the 20th Century, receiving the 2003 Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce Harlem Week National Historic Black College Guardians of Our Legacy Award, and being conferred the title of President Emeritus at Central Washington University, where he served as president for more than seven years. The Central Washington University Foundation even honored Dr. Nelson by establishing a $50,000 Ivory V. Nelson Endowed Graduate Fellowship in Chemistry. The way I would describe Dr. Nelson's personality is uh, that good old Southern charm. He's, um, I'm from Louisiana and he's from Louisiana and it just reminds me of being home. That good old Southern charm, he's nice, kind of makes you relax and just talk, have a conversation, um, which is good as a student, because uh, as a student in leadership position, you need that example to show you that leaders can be effective and efficient, but still have a heart that's genuine. So his his charm. I think it's a uh, it's an honor for for President Nelson, of course, uh, to be to be recognized by the Thurgood Thur Thur Marshall Scholarship Fund, but it's also an important honor for Lincoln University. Uh, and it's something that as a, as a Lincoln community and as a Lincoln constituency we're proud of because any time that our leader is recognized, uh, it says that it says something good also about Lincoln University. So we're also, we're, I'm very happy to hear that he's been recognized for his work. To Dr. Nelson, I wish him the best of luck in all that he does. The one aspect that I can say about Dr. Nelson that I do know him personally and I've had a lot of personal conversations with him and his wonderful wife, Patricia, uh, they, he is a man of his word. If you go to him and you talk and you say they have an issue, he will be there. If he says that he see, if he sees a problem in the university, he has gone out to work extra hard to get it back for the university. He has brought tons of funding. He's seen areas where we, 
where most presidents would look at it and there are a lot of issues that are not going, he works diligently to get at it. And it may not happen today or tomorrow, but he gets the job done. Dedicated to helping sustain and maintain higher education, Dr. Nelson has secured significant private and state funding. He has also written 11 technical publications in the field of analytical chemistry. Dr. Ivory V. Nelson, a husband, a father, a teacher, a friend, an educational trailblazer genuinely interested in the welfare of students and successors. Dr. Ivory V. Nelson, a man of vision, a man of purpose, a man committed to excellence in education.